Have you ever wondered what happens to a woman's body when she orgasms? Well, I'm Dr. Rena Malik, urologist and pelvic surgeon, and today we're gonna talk all about what happens to the body, the heart rate, the breathing, and everything else when a woman orgasms. A special thank you to our sponsor for today's video, Adam and Eve. And they have a special deal for you. You can use the code RENA to get 50% off one item and free shipping in the United States and Canada. Adam and Eve takes sexual health very seriously and it donates 20% of its profits to help fight HIV around the world. Interestingly, the way we learned about orgasm or the sexual response cycle is by two prominent researchers named Masters and Johnson. And you know how they learned exactly what happens? they observe sex workers having sex in their laboratory. So while today that seems a bit crazy, this is actually how they learned. They were actually able to orgasming. So the first phase is called the excitement phase. And during this time, you will see an increase in heart rate as well as a rise in blood pressure. You'll also see what we call vasocongestion. And that's because there's increased blood flow to the genitals, specifically to the clitoris. The clitoris itself enlarges, the vagina elongates and widens, and the uterus moves up and out of the way. The vaginal walls begin to create lubrication, and the labia minora actually thin to allow more space for the potentially phallus later on, and the labia minora become dark and colored. Up to a half to three-fourths of women develop what we call the sex flush. That's where you can see pinkish spots kind of developing all over, the breast, the torso, the hands, the face, and even the soles of the feet. The vaginal muscles and even the sphincter of the anus can begin to tighten and contract and this phase can last anywhere from several minutes to several hours. The next phase is the plateau phase and this is right before you're about to reach climax or orgasm and it basically continues everything that's occurring during the excitement phase but the clitoris starts to become a little bit sensitive and it actually withdraws underneath the clitoral hood. If you want a review about all the female anatomy I'm talking about make sure you check out my video about female anatomy and if the g-spot's real to learn and get a refresher. The glands of the vestibular, the outer part of the vagina start to make more lubrication. The outer part of the vagina actually swells and the pelvic floor muscles start to tighten. And this concludes with orgasm. During climax, you will see significant increases in heart rate, blood pressure, the pupils will dilate, and sometimes you could even have involuntary vocalization. And fascinatingly, several studies have found that the pain threshold during climax decreases. The vagina and vulva itself also have some interesting changes. And the most pathognomonic finding is pelvic floor contractions occurring at approximately 0.8 second intervals. And they can be anywhere from three to 15 sets of contractions and they can get periodically longer. And interestingly, orgasms can last anywhere from a few seconds to up to 60 seconds. This can also be correlated with other areas of the body contracting, including the uterus as well as the rectal sphincter. As many of you probably already know, reaching orgasm can be quite a euphoric state. And some even describe it as the ultimate meditative state because you cannot, literally cannot think of anything else. And the last phase is the resolution phase. And during this time, blood pressure drops, your muscles relax, and it allows your body to kind of slow down from the excited state. And some women may experience a refractory period. I've talked about this before in my video about multiple orgasms, so you can watch that but some women can easily have multiple orgasms where others will experience a refractory period at which point they cannot again achieve climax. And for some of those women, their clitoris can become very sensitive. So it's important to communicate with your partner if that partner happens to be a female so that you can be sure to stop stimulating them if they are very sensitive. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that very much. As always, we're gonna take care of yourself because you are worth it.